Hello and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about uh, 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor. Um, that's kind of one of my favorite performance trucks when it comes to just raw, just aggressive looking truck. Like I love the way that truck looks. And the fact that it's going to have a V8 motor now instead of the EcoBoost, that's even more amazing, but it's going to cost more money. And the TRX is just insane, but the amount of money they want for it, it's just a lot. Anyway, let's take a look. So the F-150 is going to be re uh, showcased or it's going to be revealed on February 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So that's 8 o'clock in the morning. While the image isn't very revealing, it shows that the redesigned truck will have revolutionary grille with prominent forward lettering. And the other thing that I really love about that Ford F-150, the Raptors, is because it has those cool four lights right here in the middle. I think that looks fucking dope. But overall, like... Trucks do not change a lot, especially when it comes to like the just the cabin area. Like the cabin, the interior is going to get changed, but this outside here really doesn't change. They may change the design and the way that it looks, but everything else usually just stays the same. But the front usually just, you know, it gets overhauled. They move a few things here and there. And of course, the suspensions and everything, it's an off roader. At least they built it to be an off roader. Ford is staying light-lipped on specific, but previous spy photos have shown a beefy front skid plate, a recovery hooks, the off-road goodies worn and there, as the model will have a prominence fender flares and BEF Goodridge all-terrain T1 or T slash A tires. The big news is the truck suspension with trades rear leaf springs for more modern coils this should result in more comfortable ride and change also allowed engineers to add new structural brace that attaches to the rear axle speaking of unibody changes the exhaust has been rerouted and now features a straight exit more importantly it features higher mounting point for improved clearance and the interior if that's the interior of the previous one that looks fucking amazing i can just go in there and sleep night night <clears throat> but I hope I hope Ford doesn't try to copy what um what you know like Ram does. I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I hope they don't do that. Like take the fucking GT500 motor and stuff it into the Raptor. Don't don't fucking do that. It's not what that car's intended purpose is to do, or the intended purpose of a truck. It's not supposed to have that much power unless you're fucking racing the Baja 1000 or something like that then yeah by all means you know it is what it is hey look at me I'm all cut up hey it blends in <laughs> it's like I'm floating y'all I'm a floating head <laughs> all right stop it that was cringe we haven't gotten a glimpse inside the Raptor, but the model will benefit from updates applied to Ford F-150. As a result, the truck should have a 12-inch digital instrument cluster, a 12-inch SYNC 4 infotainment system, and higher quality material. The twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 is expected to carry over with modifications for improved performance. There's no word numbers at this point, but the engine currently develops 450 horsepower and 510 um, Feet, of, feet pound of torque. It could eventually be joined by a supercharged 5.2 liter V8. No. Just put the fucking V8 in there. No fucking supercharge. And just tune it the right way. Just give it the right so, so, sort of... Uh, yeah. That'll do. Um... It could eventually be joined by a supercharged 5.2 5.2 liter V8 source for Mustang Shelby GT500. Rumor, rumors have suggested that it will be used in F150 Raptor R. Hmm. No, please don't. Don't do that. The Raptor R is slated to battle the Ram 1500 TRX, which has supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine pumping out 702 horsepower and seven, oh, 650 pound feet of torque it enables the model to accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds that's a fast ass motherfucking truck man that truck will dust my damn fucking R 
Oh, but the amount of speed that he can go, I can go a lot faster. And the fact that I'm more aerodynamic comparing to a truck, like that's why I, I don't understand what these companies are doing. I wonder if it's still gonna have like the Raptor name right here, or are they gonna change that? Hmm. Looks like you get a whole, whole tire instead of one of those lame ass fucking. You know what I mean, like spares, lame ass spares. They even covered this. Wow, they're not playing. Look at that. That they cover the fucking coilovers. Isn't that dangerous? Because it moves up and down. But they cover that shit. Raptor prototype current Raptor. Looks like they went with. It looks like a smaller exhaust. But anyway, the this new Raptor looks fucking boss. If I ever get back into the... If I ever... Actually, I've never owned a truck. But if I ever decide to buy a truck, this is my dream truck right here. I've always wanted a Raptor. Just like I've always wanted a Type R. Uh, well, actually, the, the Raptor didn't really exist until, like, not that long ago, but... The newer ones just look fucking sexy, sleek, and it's fucking powerful as shit, man. I, I, and I wouldn't mind owning one and putting it in my garage. That'd be fucking dope as fuck. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. Do you like the new, well, the spy shots that you saw of the Raptor? Are you interested in it? Do you love trucks? Um, yeah. But if when it comes to trucks, I think my options are either going to be Toyota or it's going to be the Raptor, but I think I would just fucking splurge and get the Raptor if I can afford it after I get my Tesla. Anyway, this is somewhat unbiased. As always, you have yourself a very great evening and leave a like. And if you're lurking, thank you for the view. I appreciate it a lot. Don't be scared to subscribe. You know. It just takes like two seconds and hit that bell notifications because you get that new New new. Anyway. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I have not set up my hotkey yet. Usually I... Mm.